I got a whole bunch of LEDs and this is for a very special product that I've been wanting to do for probably like two months now. Um, well, probably longer than that. Probably maybe two years. But I really only started to actually work on it for the last like two months. So I ordered a whole bunch of components off eBay. Mind focus. Mind focus. Um, so I ordered a whole bunch of components off eBay and the LEDs arrived, as did my transistors and wires. So, now I'm gonna test all of these LEDs, which there's 600 of them, because we're making a big LED cube, eight by eight by eight. Anyway, yeah, now, now testing montage, I guess. All right, so basically, this is the situation with my resistors. So this is how bright the resistor I wanted to get. Oh, come on, you're not working out. All right, so that's how bright the resistor I wanted to get is basically in, in noticeable. That's how bright a 110 ohm resistor is. And then that's how bright, bright a 100 ohm resistor is. So that's what I'm going to be going with but I only have like 10 of them. So I need to return resistors I bought and try to get 100 ohm resistors. Alright, I'm about a third of the way done with soldering these wires. So I got all these side, this side connected up. And so now I have four more over here to connect up. And then another eight here, and then four here. So the four here are gonna be also three volt lines. And then the eight here are all the ground lines for switching the uh, rows. Or platforms of LEDs. So yeah. So I finished the other eight wires, which make up the uh, columns. And so now these eight pieces back here, those all need to be soldered to the microcontroller. So yeah, we'll see when that's done. This hopefully should be all soldered. So we got all the wires. Looking like they're in the right places, I don't think we have any connections. They shouldn't be, so this looks like a mess, but now we need to test it. And first plug in smoke test. Let's really hope nothing goes wrong. Right. Yep, it's a good connector. Oh, I should have thought of that. I can't plug it in. This took way too long. Now I just need to solder everything and make sure I can connect the I2C the expansion board. But yeah, proof of concept works. Got the M0 here and it actually blinks. So at least I know I wasn't completely crazy when I designed this. Even worse mess the wires now. But now as many LEDs 
But this is also making me realize my leggy cube is uh, badly made. So that's annoying. Finally got my LED cube working too. Oh God. Mm, yeah. I'm gonna need to do something about that. This is the conclusion of this video, I guess. I made this project and it's not perfect. It's not what I wanted it to be, but it did turn work out and it does work. Uh, I'm happy with that at least. This video took way, way, way too long to make. I started it in like January of 2024 um, and it's August of January 20, or of 2024. Uh, yeah, I may have procrastination issues. Um, yeah, anyway, it works. I'll just do some more video of it. Bye.